You know, we're pretty good at protecting our health by now. We wash our hands, we wear masks, physically distance ourselves. But what are you going to do to protect your identity? Jimmy Rhodes talks with Court TV's Julie Grant to learn some of the easy things you can do to stop thieves in their tracks. For starters, freeze your credit. This is a free tool that restricts access to your credit report. It's a way of stopping an identity theft before it starts. Anytime you do something big financially, the credit card issuer, mortgage lender, or auto loan company pulls your credit report. And if they can't do that, then the ID thieves are out of luck. And it's easy. You contact each of the nationwide credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. You can do it online, you can do it by phone, and they'll give you a PIN number or a password something that you have to be very careful with, but only you have that. And when you want to take out a loan? Go online, put in your PIN number, select the window of time you want it to be lifted, and then put that freeze back on when you're done. So your credit report is only accessible when you say it is. Julie's next tip, review your credit report. You're entitled to a free report from each of the credit bureaus every 12 months. So space out those free pulls, and in the shorter term, they're offering weekly reports online through April of 2021. Print that puppy out, sit down with a highlighter, and study it. You should be able to tell which credit cards are yours, you should know the amounts, and pay special attention if you see that a mobile service provider has pulled your report, because that's often an indication of the start of an identity theft. Because thieves need a phone registered in your name to complete account setups that require two-factor authentication. Now we all do this next one, but stop giving out your social security number. These started out as a way for the federal government to track earnings. But somehow they've turned into an identifier in the private sector. Companies are just in the habit of asking for this information from you, and they really don't need it. They shouldn't have it. It puts your identity in jeopardy. So? When you're asked for your social security number, don't give it out. Ask, why do you need it? What are you going to do with it? Request that they find another way to identify you. Finally, everything we just talked about, do it for your kids, too. Children are prime targets for identity theft. Wait, the closest thing they have to currency is goldfish crackers. How does this even make sense? Because they have a clean slate. And if your young child has a social security number? That allows for a bigger window of time for identity theft to occur. So from age zero to whenever they're getting their first job or taking their first loan, a child's identity is often an unmonitored playground for identity thieves. Criminals are savvy and they are savage and they will do anything they can to steal an identity. Preventing identity theft is at the top of the list.